Hey guys. hey guys, so today is a little bit different. We are serving lunch because we are so excited to have Rachel Isgar here, etiquette expert, a mom of four from pleasepassthemanners.com to teach our kids about dining etiquette, something I'm not sure I ever learned as a kid, so. It is never too late, never too early. <laughs> All right, good, I'll be taking notes. Hi everybody, my name is Mrs. Isgar. My name is Caitlin. My name is Adrian. My name is Presley. My name is Matthew. Great to meet you. Okay, so there's one rule today. My rule is we're gonna have fun. So the first thing that I love to do is put our napkin on our lap. The napkin will stay on your lap unless it falls off. When it falls off, that's okay. We'll get you another napkin. If you need to go to the bathroom, you actually just put it on your chair instead of putting your napkin on the table. I have not noticed anybody do this, but do you have friends that put their elbows on the table like this a lot of the time? Okay, so if I see elbows on the table, I'm gonna call elbow police because that's not really great manners to have your elbows out. All right, guys, so what do we use the small fork for? For salad. <laughs> awesome, for salad or an appetizer. What do we use the big fork for? Spaghetti. We would use it for spaghetti or our main course. We've got two spoons. So what do we use the big spoon for? Soup. So you're absolutely right. And then the little spoon, that would probably be more like ice cream, something we would use for dessert. And then I just wanna point out to you that the knives, the sharp edge actually goes in towards the plate when you guys set the table. Boys and girls, thank you so much for waiting to start your soup until everybody got served. We wanna make sure that we don't pick up the bowl and go like this. <laughs> we don't wanna slurp the bowl, but we also don't wanna like lean over to the bowl too much. What we're gonna work on today is just using your spoon to bring some soup up to your mouth. So you wanna do it just like this. What you wanna do is hold your soup spoon like you would hold it as a pencil in school. Okay? Writing your name. Yeah, almost like you're writing your name. Perfect, all right, bon appetit. Okay, Matthew, that's nice. Very good, Adrian. Caitlin, let me see yours, good. What do you do when somebody gives you <laughs> food that you really don't like? Take a polite bite. Take a polite bite, I love that. Thank, Thank you. Wow, that was nice. One thing I wanna show you guys is the best way to twirl your pasta and eat it, okay? Some people, they actually like to push their fork against a big spoon when they're eating the pasta. So I would say go for about this amount, okay? Like this? Does that make sense? That is a little bit too much. And I know this is one of the hardest foods to eat. That's why it's so great that we're practicing it. Can so sweetie pie, this? don't want to use your fingers on it though. You're gonna hold it just in one I hand. <laughs> so Miss Caitlin, you are doing awesome. But let me show you how you do it against the spoon. And then you won't have it coming out of your mouth too much. You're doing great, sweetheart. That was a beautiful bite. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, so now everybody, we're gonna learn how to cut our chicken. Since you're all righties, we know we're holding the fork in the right hand to eat, but to cut, you have to move the fork to your left hand. So you go like this, you hold the knife in back of your fork like this, and then you switch back to your right hand again to eat. And you wanna cut your pieces small enough so they're like bite size. This, this is something, guys, once you get this down, you're gonna use this your whole life. Back to your right hand, perfect, and eat it just like that. What happens if you're chewing your broccoli and somebody starts talking to you? Matthew, how did the Dodgers do last night? I love it, that's awesome. You're giving me like the hand signal to show like, I hear you, give me just a minute to finish chewing and then I'll talk to you. Say you're done but your mom and dad are still eating, or your big sister's still eating. What's the right thing to do? If you you're... can wait. Yes, you can wait until everybody's done eating, or... You have to ask to be excused. Exactly. Wonderful job, everybody. That was a yummy lunch. You guys sat great. I really appreciate all of your pleases and thank yous and awesome manners. Cheers to everybody. Cheers. 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 Cheers.